Um, so in, in a sentence, uh, cofactor genomics uses RNA to diagnose disease. And so what that means is, I think most of us are used to hearing about DNA, and um, DNA is, is often referred to as our blueprint. Um, but like a blueprint, um, a blueprint is pretty much fixed. And, and RNA is very different than DNA in that it's changing all of the time. Um, it changes in response to our diet, uh, exercise, um, infection, and disease. And so it's really the dynamic aspect of our genome. It's changing. And so what we use is, is we leverage that aspect and the expertise of our team to develop solutions um, that give people insight into, into disease, really, uh, using RNA and reading RNA. So logistically, what happens is our clients send us biological samples, you know, little vials of, of biological samples, and our biologists uh, do the preparation of that, they do the sequencing of the RNA in those samples, and our analysis team does the analysis, and we provide back a, a report that gives insight into some of the, you know, things that are going on in that sample. So it's very much bringing a sample in-house, um, applying our technologies, and then providing a report back to give uh, researchers, um, pharmaceutical companies, and someday clinicians um, on the biological basis of what's happening. So they can cure diseases? Yes, or identify the disease, know how to um, maybe a path for treatment. Or some of our clients right now, um, about 80% of our, our revenue and, and our contracts are with large pharmaceutical companies. And they're using RNA to understand the disease that they're interested in addressing. We don't look like a, a, a your standard laboratory and, and uh, you know, don't have that same environment um, like a very typical, maybe, uh, academic research lab. Um, I think that stems from two things. One is there's a number of us founders and the founding team that spent more than a decade in that kind of very confined um, environment with no windows and full of, you know, um, the, uh, the, the type of, um, you know, fluttering lights of the lab. And, and we really rebelled against that, um, you know, to create a more open, uh, creative environment um, that allowed a lot more interaction.